guiding you through a 30 minute all level yoga flow. So just get comfortable on your back, laying down on your mat, and just getting any last fidgets out so you can fully settle in. And palms can be up for receiving or down for grounding. And just taking whatever you need. And just beginning to slow down the breath. And closing the eyes. And just notice any thoughts that are popping up right now. And see if you can sweep them off to the side. And just solely focusing on yourself for these next 30 minutes. Take a big inhale in through the nose, filling up the chest. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Inhale a little deeper in through the nose, filling up the belly. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. And just notice if there's any other areas that you can soften a little more. Just sink a little closer to your mat. And just taking a few more moments, and slowing down the breath. And slowly bringing the arms up and overhead and taking a nice good good morning stretch. Maybe pointing the toes if that feels good. And grabbing opposite elbows overhead, planting the feet as wide as your mat. And just begin to windshield away for the knees back and forth. And then when they fall over to the right, keep them there. And taking a supine variation. You can also cross that right ankle on top of that left thigh to bring that left knee a little closer to the earth. And just noticing that left side body stretch and breathing into it. Slowly coming back into center, keeping that bind, interlacing the fingers behind that left thigh, picking up that left foot and taking figure four. You can also bring that right elbow into the right knee and track it out wide and feeling that deep right hip stretch. Maybe even rocking side to side if that's comfortable with your spine. And slowly release, coming back, back into that windshield wiper position. Dropping the knees over towards the left and crossing that left ankle on top of that right thigh. And slowly coming back into center and interlacing the fingers behind that right thigh and taking figure four, bringing that left elbow to the left knee to track it out and feeling that deep left hip stretch. Slowly release, grabbing the backs of the thighs and vertically rocking about two times the length of your mat and crossing over the shins and coming into a tabletop position. Taking a few rounds of cat and cow, we want to make sure that our shoulders are stacked over our wrists and our hips are stacked over our knees. Closing the eyes, inhale, dropping the belly, gaze goes up for cow. Exhale, round the spine, tucking that tailbone for cat. Inhale, dropping the belly, gaze goes up, cow. 
Exhale, really rounding that spine, tucking that chin, pushing your mat away for cat. And taking two more rounds on your own, and just linking breath with movement. Taking whatever feels good, closing your eyes. Nobody's watching, I promise. I'm taking one more round. And coming into a neutral table. Inhale, sends that right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it underneath the left for thread the needle, dropping that right temple. You can either teepee the left fingertips, or you can play with the bind, wrapping that left arm around the lower spine and finding that right hip crease. Either way, we want to make sure that we're rotating our heart up towards the sky. Taking one more round. Releasing that bind if you have it. Plant that left hand. Inhale, sends that right arm up towards the sky. And taking two big circles with that right arm. Just really opening up that left shoulder. And planting that right hand. Inhale, sends that left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it through the right or thread the needle. And once again, you can either teepee those right fingertips. Or you can play with the bind, wrapping that right arm around the lower spine and finding that left hip crease. Rotating that chest up towards the, towards the sky. And taking one more round. Releasing that bind. Plant that right hand. Inhale, sends that left arm up towards the sky and take two big circles. Really stretching out of those fingertips to feel that full stretch. Planting that left hand. Walk the hands about three inches in front of us. Tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. And just begin to take your dog for a walk, bending one knee and then the other. This is probably your first down dog of the day, so you're gonna be pretty tight. And making sure those fingertips are really spread out wide. And coming into a neutral down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, sinks them back, pushing that heart towards the upper thighs. Inhale, lifts the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips calm the shins, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release the hands to the small of the back, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, popping up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades. And exhale, folding with that bind. Release that bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands and step back into a high plank position and pause. Really popping out those shoulder blades. Doming out. <laughs> Inhale, waving the shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, untuck the toes, upward facing dog. Our chest is lifted, our thighs are lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. So that's our vinyasa. You can either take it or leave it. That's totally up to you. Inhale, lifts the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, shape of the sun. Exhale, release the hands to the small of the back, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, popping up that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades. And exhale, fold with that bind. Releasing that bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And taking two big rounds of breaths. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale in a little deeper. Exhale.
exhale, sigh it out. Moving into our flow, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, shape of the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift that right knee up for Akapata. And exhale, slowly kicking that right leg back for warrior three. Really taking your time here. We want to make sure that our hips are parallel with our mat. And that our right toes are flexed and our toes are pointing towards the ground. We can either keep our hands in prayer or extend them out in front. Totally okay if you fall. Taking one more inhale. Slowly bending that left knee, dropping back those right toes. And inhale, send the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sinks for crescent. We want to make sure that our hips are facing towards our front knee and our front knee is stacked over our front ankle. Balancing can be a challenge some days. Totally okay. We're also popped up onto those back toes and our back heel is lifted. One more inhale to lift the chest a little more. Exhale, spin that back heel down, warrior two. Our back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Our front knee is stacked over our front ankle, and our shoulders draw down our backs. Inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, still keeping that deep bend in that front knee. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, high runner's lunge. Walking that back foot up a little bit, and straightening that front leg for pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift, class fine. Exhale, fold. Rebend into that front knee, step back high plank, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, shape of the sun, maybe mini back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, picks that left leg up, Akapada. And exhale, slowly send that left leg back for warrior three. Keeping those hips parallel to the mat, flexing back those toes. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, slowly step that left foot down. Inhale, the arms up towards the sky for crescent. And exhale, sinks. Again, making sure those hips are facing towards that front knee and we're popped up onto those back toes. One more inhale. Exhale, spin that back heel down in warrior two. Making sure that front knee is stacked over that front ankle, shoulders drawn down the back, gazing over our front fingertips. Inhale, flip that front palm, reverse your warrior, still keeping that deep bend in that front knee. Exhale, carve the hands down, higher than lunge, stepping that back foot up a little bit, and straighten that front leg for pyramid. Inhale, half a lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Rebend into that front knee, step back and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And flowing through that once more, but flowing breath with movement. So moving a little quicker this time. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, shape of the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, picks that right knee up, Akapada. Exhale, sends it back, warrior three. Taking one inhale to arrive. And exhale, slowly set those right toes down. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, six. 
One more inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, spin that back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, flip that front palm, reverse your warrior, keeping that deep bend in that front knee. Exhale, carve the hands on high on his lunge, step that back foot up a little bit, and straighten that front leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Planting that left hand this time, inhale, sends that right arm up towards the sky for a twist. And maybe playing with the bind, wrapping that right arm around the lower spine and finding that right hip crease. <laughs> Taking one more inhale. Exhale, release that bind. Rebend into that front knee. Step back and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, shape of the sun, maybe mini back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift that left leg up, Akapada. Exhale, slowly send it back, warrior three. One inhale. Exhale, slowly set those toes down. Inhale, lift the arms up for crescent. Exhale, sink. One more inhale, but lift the chest a little higher. Exhale, spin that back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, lift that front paw, reverse your warrior. Keeping that deep bend in that front knee. And exhale, carve the hands down, high runners. Step that back foot up a little. Straighten that front leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Planting that left hand. Inhale, sends that right arm up towards the sky. Maybe playing with the bind here, wrapping that right arm around the lower spine. One more inhale. Exhale, release that bind. Plant that right hand and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze up. Step or hop to the top. And tick tock the feet about as wide as the mat. Our toes are going to be pointing out, our heels are in. And dropping the seat for yogi squat. And just bringing the palms in prayer. And closing the eyes, noticing the heart rate. Maybe you roll the neck out here if that feels good. Or maybe you take a bind or a twist. Or just rocking side to side. Just taking whatever you need and slowing the breath down. And whenever you're ready, slowly just sit back <laughs> and make your way into your back, keeping the feet planted and setting up for bridge pose. We want to make sure that our heels are close enough so we can graze our fingertips with them. And whenever you're ready, inhale, sends the hips up towards the sky. And maybe walking the shoulder blades underneath so you can interlace the fingers. We want to make sure that we're using our top five muscles and releasing our glutes. Taking one more round. Inhale, lifts a little higher. Exhale, release that bind and slowly lower all the way down. And taking one last bridge, so if wheel is in your practice, go ahead and take that. Or just take another bridge. Whenever you're ready on your next inhale, send the hips up towards the sky. And taking two rounds once you arrive. Maybe trying to walk the hands back a little for a challenge. Just taking one more round. And slowly lower all the way down. Taking your time. Opposite elbows overhead. 
Our feet are as wide as our mat, and just begin to windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Just releasing any tension in the lower spine. And whenever your knees fall over towards the right, keep them there. And maybe crossing that right angle on top of that left thigh for a little supine variation. And just taking a moment right here, settling in. Slowly releasing that bind and dropping the knees all the way over towards the left. Maybe crossing that left ankle on top of that right thigh if that feels good. And just taking about two rounds. Just feeling that right side body stretch and closing the eyes. Slowly releasing that bind, hugging the knees into the chest, and giving yourself a good tight squeeze before we become, before we come into our final pose of Shavasana. Then release everything and lay along, and just getting any last wiggles out of the way so you can finally surrender into this pose. Take a big, deep inhale in through the nose, filling up the chest. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Releasing control of the breath. And draping the eyes closed. Melting the shoulder blades onto your mat. Softening each and every muscle in the body. And just asking yourself if you're still holding on to any tension. And just releasing it. Softening the third eye space, the mind, the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet. Just totally feel your body surrender into this pose and taking this time for you. Okay.